So what if you wanted to visit a unique to-do? So for example, visit 10 or 20. Well, we can do that up here and say slash and then the ID. Right now, this gives us a 404 page, but if we want to implement that, we can. And we can do that by using get static paths. So let's go back to our code. And what we're going to do is we are going to create a new file. And this file will be id.js. But we want this to be dynamic. So we need to put it inside of these braces. Make sure it's like that. Now, once so we export this, just like that. So now if you visit that page, we get an empty page. But what we want to have show up is the name completed and ID for that individual to do. So example for ID 34, we want this to do to show up number 34. So we can use the get static paths to do this. But first we need to use the get static props set to get all of them. So I'm going to come back here and copy this because it's going to be uh, very similar and paste it here just like that. So we have export async function get static props. The difference is we want to pass in a context. And that context will be the ID. So what we can do is we can come here and pass that context in the fetch. So just like that. And then we can say slash dollar sign braces context dot params dot ID. Just like that. Well, instead of to do's, plural, it is just singular, const to do equals await res.json, and we are returning that to do, just like that. Now is when we can use get static paths. So that will be another async function, and we'll put that just below. So we'll say export async function get static paths, just like that. That does not take in anything. And then we'll simply return. And then inside of here, we define the paths. So the paths are just an array. So we can say array, and we can pass in params, and we can give this ID one. And this needs to be a string. And then once we do that, we can now visit to do's slash ID one. And you'll see we do get an error. And that is because we don't have a fallback key. So let's come back here and let's add that. We'll just say fall back and set that equal to false. Just like that. Now we go back and refresh. See, let's go back here. All the to do's slash one. Oh, right. So it's working. We're getting no errors, but I forgot to actually display that. So let's come up here and pass in a to do. And then what we can do, let me add the h1, which will be get static paths. And all this code, by the way, will be in my GitHub as well. So you can go view that. Link will be in the description. So all I'm going to do is put a p tag. We'll say user ID. That will be equal to to do dot user ID. And that is this user ID here. And as you can see, they're starting to come through. Let me copy this and paste it three times. We have the ID, we have the title, and we have whether it's completed or not. So we can just copy and paste those. And now 
we go back and visit the page, we should see everything. So user ID one, ID one, and the title. And completed is not showing up. And that is because it is not a string, it's a Boolean. So we need to just simply add dot to string, and now we should be able to see it. There we go. So that's all working. But you'll notice if we go to slash two, we get a 404 not found page. And that is because we are only defining an ID of one. So how can we fix this? Well, we can just simply create an array. So we can say paths instead of hard coding this list, what we can do is we can say paths are equal to a new array. We'll set this equal to 200 and we'll say dot fill pass in null dot map just like this underscore comma index and we can use our arrow notation and now inside of here what we can do is we can say params and set that equal to id dollar sign index plus one and what that is doing is the index for the first one will be zero but we don't have an id of zero we have an id of one so we simply have to just add one so the zero index is one and in array of 200 the last index is 199 so we need to again add one there so we get one through 200 instead of zero through 199 and we are getting a an error right here oh i forgot the colon just like that now we'll format that up keep the uh, fallback of false okay and there we go so we now see id2 showing up let's try 45 that works and let's try 30 uh 145 whoops 145 perfect so that is working we are able to get all of our ids so that is how to use get static paths